Hello. Well, today I want to talk about another film that uh, I always watch on Thanksgiving, uh, as well as my family does too. Um, it has been a tradition. Um, though one might wonder why this is when in the title it doesn't, you know, have Thanksgiving in the title or anything. It's just a tradition that's uh, been going on since before I was born. Um, and that film is obviously a Christmas Vacation. I say obviously because of the title of the video, but yeah, ever since like uh, 1990, since it was on VHS, uh, they on Thanksgiving, you know, after eating and everything, just gonna hang around for a little bit. You know, uh, like watching football was essentially done. You know, they didn't know what all to do after everything. Nobody really wanted to get up and, like, go home. Those who would go home. Um, like, they didn't live too far away. So, you know, they wondered, like, well, what's, what are we going to do? And, well... They decided let's watch a movie. And it's, it was a holiday. Since Thanksgiving is a holiday, they chose a holiday-themed film, and this is the movie uh, that was chosen. And um, yeah, I would say this is my favorite Thanksgiving movie, even though it's Christmas. Um, but it's around that same time of year, you know, after Thanksgiving's done. Here in the states, it's you know it's Christmas time. So even though I think Christmas time seems to happen even before Halloween, people get so excited. Like in September of this year, I'm not even kidding. Christmas stuff is on sale to buy Christmas lights and some decorations. Not a whole lot because you know Halloween is coming up, but you know it, it, it was a thing. Like oh, it was get you know gotta get your. Uh, Christmas stuff right off the bat, so, yeah, this was a uh, Christmas always comes earlier anymore, um, but yeah, uh, so Christmas Vacation, what is there really to say, um, if you've seen the Vacation series, uh, particularly the first two before this, Vacation and European Vacation, essentially what it happens is Clark Griswold, played by Chevy Chase, always does what he can to try and get his family together. You know, first movie, it was Wally World. Second, it was going to Europe. And in this film, well, it's vacation. Or it's Christmas vacation, so it's all about Christmas. And, um, you know, Beverly D'Angelo stars his, <laughs> his wife, as, uh, as she always does in all of these, film, all of these films. And Randy Quaid, uh, plays his cousin, uh, cousin Eddie, and uh, Julia Louis Julia Louise Dreyfus is in this film as a neighbor. Uh, Juliet Lewis is in this as their daughter, and Johnny Galecki was uh, their son. And uh, it's just a hilarious film. It's written by John Hughes. Um, who wrote and directed uh, and produced uh, uh, planes, trains, and automobiles. So that actually, in a way, also links to this film. Uh, he wrote and produced this film. So, um, yeah, he didn't direct it. Uh, Jeremiah S. Chichik directed this never uh, seen a film uh, other films outside of this movie by him at least not to my knowledge and essentially you know uh, in this film Clark wants to have uh, everybody's side of the family basically come over like his family and Ellen's family everyone comes together under their roof later on Cousin Eddie and his family show up uh, unannounced and uninvited also and uh living in a trailer or an RV and um, they have kids and a dog named Snots because of his congestion uh, uh, 
problems. Just sneezes. And, uh, yeah, Cousin Eddie's gross. He's like a... He lives in... Just, yeah. Cousin Eddie isn't somebody who's the easiest to, you know, really, um... Describe. You really have to watch the movies to understand what I'm talking about. What if I say he's like disgusting? For instance, you know, have an RV, a septic tank, or whatever, putting it, or emptying out the RVs, uh, bathroom facilities down in the uh, uh, sewer. And he does that in his bathrobe, and <laughs> it's just the. Uh, one of the happiest people ever, though, as Clark describes it at one point in the film, his uh, heart is bigger than his brain. Um, oh, and Brian Doyle Mur Murray is in this film, the brother of Bill Murray. He plays his boss. And um, he has a hand, or he plays a part in this movie. That's pretty central to the plot. Um, as the film goes on, because there's this recurring thing with his uh, bonus, because... Aside from everybody trying to get together, he's really stressed and outside of people like bickering and fighting and this and that about whatever, with a whole bunch of people under the same roof, he wants his bonus, he's expecting his bonus check um, that he's supposed to get because uh, he's uh, deposited quite a bit of money uh, for uh, a pool. And he's like, and then until the check comes, he doesn't really have enough money to cover it all so um, and that's a big thing that goes out goes on throughout the film um, you know uh, in a way you know disastrous things happen but at the very end everything comes together and it's all it's all a happy film it's a you know they all lived Happily ever after, for at least for that moment in time, because for, uh, there's a couple more films after Christmas Vacation. There's a Las Vegas Vacation afterwards, and I believe there's a sequel, like a Christmas Vacation 2, Eddie's Vacation or Eddie's Island, and centers on it's all about uh, Cousin Eddie, and uh, it wasn't very good. Uh, Las Vegas Vacation, I don't believe, was all that great either. European, European Vacation is pretty good. It's pretty hilarious. Um, but to me, this and uh, First Vacation are the best in the series. Um, and there was a remake, uh, a Vacation, or a reboot, or a sequel with Rusty, and uh, played by Ed Helms. And Beverly, Beverly D'Angelo and Chevy Chase have uh, appearances at the very end of that film. That was okay, um, but yeah, I just enjoy this film this time of year. Um, not really all much I can say more than I already have. Um, has a lot of memorable quotes, and it's just fun to watch. Um, particularly with, around fa with family, um, especially when we all quote the film all at the same time, like a or once, like, assumed roles, somebody would be quoting at the exact same time as one person, as one character in the movie, and another would quote another. And just go on and on like that. It's just, it's just a fun film to watch, uh, in general, as well as with family. So, seen it, uh, you watch it around this time of year. I've heard a couple of people watch it Thanksgiving, too. That was new to me. I thought, <laughs> honestly, our family was the only one that did that. But, hey, you, have you watched it this time of year? Do you watch it this time of year? Um, or you wait till Christmas? Uh, anyway, uh, that's really all I have to say. Not much more I can really add. So, until next time, hope you all have a good day. Hope you all have a good week. Yeah. Until I see you all next time, take care.